You know? Much like buildings, text, especially informational and non-fiction text, have to be structurally sound, or else they'll fall over. You feel me? Yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. When you read informational text, you see the pattern and the way that it's written. Oh yes. There are five main structures you can check. Find the structure and they get less complex. Let's flex and break down all five. Follow me, the text structure mastermind. This first text structure is called description. It describes the topic and its characteristics. You'll see such as and, for example, and details and adjectives like in this sample. The famous leaning tower of Pisa is located in Italy. Mamma mia! It stands over 180 feet tall, tilted four degrees like it's starting to fall. That's description. The author describes the tower, so you have the image in your mind. Now peep this, the structure called sequence. It gives events from way back to most recent. Construction began in 1173, but it was halted when war was decreed. Building stopped for a while, then resumes. Many years later, in 1272, sequence contains dates and the words. Next, then before, first, second, and third. Cause and effect is another way to organize. It's when authors tell what happened and why. Soft soil made the tower settle unevenly. As a result, it leans increasingly. Builders tried to balance it with more floors. But due to extra weight, it leans even more. Words like because, since, if, then, due to, mean the cause and effect is coming right to you. In text, I find description. I find sequence, cause and effect. You can compare and contrast all day, all day. There's a problem solution I bet in text I find description I find sequence cause and effect we can compare and contrast all day all day there's a problem and solution I bet if you heard the hook you already know there's two more text structures to go sometimes an author introduces a problem and then explains how somebody solved it the tower leads more with each passing century the tilts increase to more than five degrees the people have feared it would collapse into ruins now we know the problem what's the solution earth was removed from under the monument and weights were added to balance out the top of it they corrected the lean at least a little bit that's problem and solution not a riddle kid just look out for the words involved since question problem solution and solve i got another text you don't have to ask and it's text structure compare and contrast it explains how things are different and the same with the words in bold i'm about to say both the tower of Pisa's construction and the Washington Monument saw destruction. The Washington Monument, named after George, had construction paused for the Civil War. Like the Leaning Tower, it took years to finish, but the purposes of the buildings were different. One was erected as a church bell's tower, while the other honored a founding father. There we compared the two different towers, that's five text structures in a sixteenth of an hour. In text, I find description, I find sequence, cause and effect. We can compare and contrast all day, all day. There's a problem and solution, I bet. In text, I find description, I find sequence, cause and effect. We can compare and contrast all day, all day. There's a problem and solution, I bet.